you know you'd won the race when you crossed the finish line? Um, I didn't until I was up on the board, but obviously really excited. <laughs> Uh, take me through the last 50, trying to trying to run those two, uh, run them down, and, and get there first. Um, uh, it was a great kick, but what what did, what, did it, what was the experience like trying to do that? I just try to be patient, and Josette and Ellie are amazing athletes, especially Ellie. I know I'm her teammate, and I'm grateful and lucky to train with her every day. And I just try to be patient and uh, trust myself and believe that if I put myself in it, then I could just have a, a much, as much of a chance as anybody else out there. Did you know what Ellie was going to do with leading it? Do you guys talk about that stuff in four races? Um, a little bit, but like obviously race plans change based on the race, so I just was told to stay in striking distance, so I listened to Mark Coogan and did what he said. <laughs> yeah, because like at the trials last year, Ellie was able to drop everyone. Yeah. This time it didn't happen. Were you surprised that didn't happen today? What's that? Were you sorry? surprised that didn't play out that way this, this time? I mean, she still took the lead. Ellie's really comfortable and strong in the lead, and um, she puts it herself in that position, and I really, really admire her for that because she takes it over, so... Um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> was this your first time beating her in a mile or 1,500? Um, it, it is, yeah. How does that feel? I mean, how does it feel to be a national champion? I mean, I'm just grateful to train with her, and I'm obviously really grateful to have had a good race after a pretty tough fall, so, yeah. What was tough about the fall? Um, I had surgery. <laughs> Uh, I got an organ removed. Everybody has to guess which one. I'm not telling you. <laughs> so um, it, I was a little set back, and it was a big recovery from last year. So I'm just really grateful to be racing indoor and be here and be able to do my job. <laughs> Has it been both? be thankful I'm here and uh, grateful for every opportunity I have to race and grateful for my health and everything that happened in the fall just prepared me for the rest of the year so as as hard as it was then I'm grateful that it happened. Did that recovery bother you at all early in this season? Um, early in this season it was just an adjustment I was definitely a little bit behind so um, I had to ca play catch up a little bit but I mean I feel ready to go now so yeah. <laughs> uh, if what happens are you going to go? Oh yes, absolutely. Does this change how you think about yourself, sort of in the hierarchy, not just in the U.S., but in the world, now that you're the national champ for the U.S.? I'm just going to have to keep working hard, and of course, there's I mean, a ton of amazing athletes in the world, and I'm starting to believe more in myself and put myself in it, and that was my goal today. I thought I executed that well. Did you, um, did you talk to Ellie about after the race at all? Did you say anything to her? I, I haven't gotten to see Ellie yet, no, so I'm looking forward to chatting with her. Congratulations. Thanks.